in this fire there was a dresser that I have had since I was five and I have had to um, downsize a lot this last year You have to let things go. They're just things. And sometimes it's not worth giving them away or trying to sell them. Sometimes you just gotta really let it go. And with uh, some family so-called heirlooms. They're not really heirlooms. Sometimes they're just bad reminders. And when we let them go in whatever way you want to do it. For me it was burning a few things because if I just gave it away it still existed and uh, those physical things help to when you get rid of them help to get rid of the emotional psychological things burning's one thing but you know you don't have to do it that way if you want to give it away fine but downsizing Especially as you approach midlife, as your kids grow, grow up, and marry. If you don't have kids, fine, but still downsizing is a good thing. Having a big, spacious apartment or condominium or house doesn't mean you're going to be happy. You have to be happy with you, with those you love. If they don't love you, do I'll just get rid of them. Not worth it. Move on. Find something that you love. Find people you love that love you back. That's one of the best things. I had to move from a three bedroom, beautiful, little, shabby house on an acreage. Uh, rented from some dairy farmers here on Vancouver Island for four years and it was one of the best landlords I ever had. I had my cats, I had my horse and a couple goats and I was trying to find something similar but it wasn't going to happen because housing here just went crazy for a while. And maybe it's going to settle down. But I ended up buying a school bus. No, yeah. A 92 Thomas. Um, just six weeks before I had to vacate. And my landlord gave me six months. They were awesome. be able to afford to keep my animals, my four cats, my horse, and goat. And the goat is belongs to the horse. Uh, they, they're friends, they're buddies, they keep each other company. To be able to afford to keep what was dearest to me, I had to give up stuff. It was only stuff material stuff 
won't get you anywhere. Might make you feel good for a day or two, but really, you have to think about what's really important to you and what's valuable. Not just material, but physically, you need a place to live, have enough food to eat, medical, etc., spiritual, and important to me was keeping my kids close to me, and not having to give up my animals my heart and break their heart. Couldn't do it. So with a combined effort, my myself, my kids, my mom, I called her up and said, hey, you want to help me with my first home? And she says, what are you talking about? What? I said, um, it's a bus. No. Really? Yeah, really. I'm going to move into a bus. I'm going to renovate it. Turn it into a RV. So anyway, I went to... Um, uh, Victoria. It's Garden City Transport. They got buses for sale. I got one of the older ones. It was 3500 It's paid off. It's mine. I can do whatever I want with it. It's a little squishy right now because I didn't have enough time to decide on some things I wanted to keep and why I didn't. And in that fire is one of the dressers after a rough winter <laughs> for Vancouver Island um, had to burn something nobody wants it but the handles on this dress are called bra brake light bake light sorry bake light and they're worth more than the dresser was so I'm gonna sell the handles and burn the rest of it because it really wasn't that valuable anyway. And what's matter is that I have a place to live. I'm on private property and I'm paying under $600 for rent for me and for cats. The poor cats they have to put up <laughs> with me. But the rent is something I can handle. Even though I have a good job, it's not good enough for here. And I've had to do some drastic things. I had to just look outside of what I thought I wanted and found what I could do.